Hello and welcome to the Scratch tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a game using Scratch 2 offline editor. I have designed a similar game uh, using Scratch 2. I'll leave a link to that video below this one. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to switch to my screen so that we get started with the code. Right. So uh, what I'm going to do is to get my sprites. I'm going to get about uh, five sprites. So let's start here. I will go here and then click to choose my sprites. All right, so I'm going to any mouse. Uh, this game, I call it the bed fight. So I'm going to select this one. So I have my first bed, then I'll go back and get another one. So we're in the category of animals. I need another bed. Right, okay, so this will do, I'm going to take the parrot. So we have parrot and now we have parrot too. So any of them will do. So I'll pick this one. And then I'll get the third one as well. So I'm going back, select a sprite. Uh, we need something like a ball, so this will do. Let me see. Yeah, I think this will do. Right, so that's the third sprite. The, the fourth and the fifth, I'm going to draw it. So I will just take this here. Um, before I come to this sprite, I want us to start editing these three so that uh, when we get to those two other two i will show you how to do that because i don't want to jam up the space here so let's get started i'll start with the first sprite now I'll go in here and the name i'll leave it as dove and i'll select this one here this rotation style to be uh, moving straight left and right okay the next is the parrot now with the parrot, I want the color to be a little bit black, so I'm going to edit that. Or oh, I'll just get two colors. There are about three colors, so you can look at it there, but I want only two colors. So I'm going to, you know, make it just two colors, okay? So I'll look at, pick the color, shape here, and then select the color. Uh, let's say, so here, black, and uh, okay, so I'll just make this one black, and uh, let me pick this color. Let me go and pick this color. I need this one here. So I'm going to use this to fill up this and that, and then back and pick the black, uh, this one here. Let's fill it this way. Okay, so this is okay for me. With the eyes, I'll leave it as, uh, as that. Then I'll do the same to the second one too. So it's going to be black and the other color, so black. Fill up this place. And I'll pick this color. Then fill up the wings. And the other side, I'll fill up the black as well. So my other bed will look like this, so this is okay for me. All right, so the next is to edit the ball, okay? So the ball, I'm going to change the name here. Instead of ball, I'm going to call it bomb. Bomb, so then I'll go into the costumes and then edit it. 
Right, so there are a whole lot of them here. So all these other colors, I don't need them. So I'm going to get rid of them. Get rid of this, 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 and that one. I only need one. So I'll call this as well, bomb. Right, then I'll give it a black color. Yeah. Okay. So that will do for me. I'll just try to draw something here. To make it look like a bomb. So this will do. All right. Now the bomb is going to have an uh, explosion effect. So what I'll do is I'm going to add up some uh, what do you call it files to make it look that way. So I've already downloaded these files. Uh, so it's on my desktop, so I'm going to get them. So I'll click here. And this will help me upload my costumes, okay? So I have them on my desktop. So go to desktop. And then I'll look for explosions. So I'm going to select all of these files here. So all, and then click to open. So highlight all and click open. And um, wait for it to upload. So whilst waiting, what we are going to do is that we're going to arrange them so that when the bomb is exploding, we'll get to see the effect. So let's see if they are well arranged. Explosion three, we start to have to start from one. So one will come at the top and then followed by two. So two will be here. So let's see, we have explosion six years so i'm taking it down to if you see explosion three explosion six should be here and explosion five let's see this explosion one so i'm taking it up so one two three four this is six, so we need five. Five is down there. I'll bring the five here. So whilst you upload them, you have to check to make sure that they are well arranged from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So take note of this number. So there are eight effects that I'm going to add to that. All right. So having done this, let me get back there and then make sure the first costume is selected, which is the bomb. Okay, now back to the script. Now what we are going to do next is that we're going to, you know, code it, okay? So we're going to code it. So I'm just going to start with the, um, the bed. So I'm going to code the bed, okay? Right, so first of all, um, when we start the game, uh, we're going to click to start the game. Let me move this way so you can see the key code clear. So I'll put it here. When we click, we want the bed to move to a certain direction. So I'm going to motion and then select go to, yeah, this one. Now, you can change the numbers here if you want, but if you don't want to worry yourself with the numbers as to which number should you, I can put my own numbers here, but if you don't want to get worried about that, whenever you just bring out this bed here, this sprite here, which represents this particular code, you, whenever you set it up, it will, automatically put these numbers there. So what I'm going to do, I'll give my own numbers that I prefer. I won't put here 130, and this one 
make it to 40. So I have 130 and negative 140 here. Then we we'll go to control and take forever. So whatever code we are going to put down here, forever will let it loop. So when it is done, it will go back. So that is the meaning of the forever. All right. So we want it to, we want the bed to move from left to right. Now this one here means that it will be at X. When we start it to be around X, where X is 130 degrees, or, uh, okay, yeah, so around 130, the position of X, 130, which is positive. But with the Y, which is down here, around this side, which is 140, negative 140. But if it goes beyond here, it means that uh, something is going to happen. So we'll look at that when we are doing the code. So what I'll do is that we want to let it move wherever the mouse is going, it should move towards the mouse. So point towards mouse pointer. And then it will move a piece. Now, if you want it to move a bit faster, I'm going to leave the 10, but if you want, you can put maybe 20 or 15. Okay, so that will indicate how fast it can move. But I'm going to leave it as 10 so that we can see the effect. Then the Y, we don't want the Y to move. We want the Y to be at this stage here, position here. So we are going to set the Y. So set Y to so I'm going to give the same number there, negative 140. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is that if, so I'm going to sense it. So before sensing, let's go to control and take the if condition and then back to sensing. Then touching mouse point, I'll put it here. Now, what we want to do is that if it touches the bone, okay? It is going to play a sound, okay? Play sound. So let's say the sound of a bed, we can leave it as bed, because that's a, that's a bed there. Uh, if you want to see more of the sounds, you can go here, click this, and then you will see the category of sound. So let's say uh, animal. Maybe this one is dove. So I don't know if we can get something like dove. Bear, chichi, cricket, dog, meow, horse, goose, duck, owl, rooster, wolf. Let's see the owl. Okay. That looks a bit better. So I'll take that because it also sounds like a dove. So I'll change it, I'll change it to owl, okay? I'll change it to owl. So our bed is still there. All right, so that is the sound that it will play, okay? Then, once it plays that sound, we also want it to send a signal. We want it to send a signal to uh, what do you call it? The ball, the bomb, because it has touched the bomb. So we want it to send a signal. So we're going to use this broadcast and tell the ball that when it touches it, it should bounce. So that's the signal, bounce. So that is this. This this is just a code for the bed. So when clicked, go to this and then loop all everything that is here. Okay, point towards mouse pointer, move 10 steps, stay at this stage, do not move beyond the negative 140. In other words, negative 150, 160 down there, it shouldn't go there, it should just be within that line. And with the X2, it should be around that stage of the X. Okay, so it shouldn't also go. Uh, to the negative aspect, it should be within. Then it should also move in the direction of the mouse, wherever you move the mouse. And then we also say if it touches the bomb, the bomb should bounce and then play a, a sound of the owl. It, it, it makes a sound. 
and then broadcast this in this broadcast we'll see it in a later code it is going to send this to the uh, bomb now at this stage i just want to start to test it and see so so wherever i move the mouse it goes in that direction as you can see it moves in that direction all right so there is something that i want us to i want to add up to that and that is uh let's get back to the code the bed let's go to the costume the bed has two costumes see so i want to see that effect whilst it is doing that okay so i'm going back to add some few codes to it so i'll go to looks and then switch costume in here to do it should be it, there are two okay so the first one it should be as the first one so let's go back here so we have do one a and do one b so it should be in the first one which is do one a okay back to the code now i wanted to also repeat so here uh repeat 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 yeah here yeah, over there I can make it one or two. Let me make it two for now. Explain that. So repeat. So it is going to switch. Okay. So now you can go to looks and take next costume. So it will repeat twice. So it will move back to the next costume. Okay. All right. So that is what I wanted to do. Let's try that again and see. So that we can see the effect of the dough. As okay, okay, let's let me check on something here. That it works all right, but um, the dude is waiting to change based on something, uh, it's waiting to work based on touching the bomb. But since we haven't coded the bomb, that wouldn't work. So I'm going to take it out here and give another if then. So with that, I can put it on top of this. Want it to be here, okay. Even below here, it can work as well. So then I'll fix it there. Or even I don't even need a if I can just fix it down here. Yes, yes, okay. So look at the code again so that whenever we just start, it will be doing this repeatedly. Now it didn't work at first because the code is waiting to touch the bomb before it can change. So now we've taken it out of that. So now it can. Uh, you know, work without that. So you see, this is what it's doing. Now, if you look at it, it's too quick, too fast. Okay. So what I'll do is the repeat. I'm just going to make it one because there's only one. It's one two. So the first is already there. So let's try that again. All right, so I think the two would work. The two would work for us. Right, so let's leave that. So good, this is okay. Good, good. Yes, and then let me check this the base and see if I can make it. Maybe let me make it five and see. Let's keep. I just want to make sure it is. Yeah. Okay, that's too slow. Good. Now let's leave it as ten. Good. Now this is okay, perfect. So we are okay with this one. Now the next uh, thing to do is that we are going to code the bomb before we come to the power. So I'll click on the bomb and start with that. Now remember, the bomb received. Um, a message and the message is when uh, so we we'll go to events and say when I receive bounce remember it, a message was sent to it so when I receive bounce okay so what we'll do is that we want it to remain as black as it is right now we don't want it to change color so um, we'll 
start with say switch costume to it should be bomb so that's the first one the black one is called the bomb and the rest are explosion one two eight <clears throat> then the position is that we want it to be in the middle so go to x so here zero and that of the y to zero okay now point we want it to point in a direction like about 135 okay point in direction 90 degrees 90 will be in the middle so i want it to be 135 okay you can check any other you can pick any other uh, degrees then, but i want it to be like 135 going the, this way see so this way will be okay for me all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to loop okay so i'll go to control and pick forever so whatever code i'm putting here is going to loop now we want it to move so as usual we go to motion and take move 10 steps let's make that 10 uh, and then if it gets to an edge here we want it to go back so when it gets to the edge without touching the bed if it touches the bed it should bounce but when it touches this edge here what we want it to do is that it should also bounce so if on edge bounce okay now we are going to control and take an if statement this is our first if statement inside this now if the this position the y position okay is less than negative 140 any number that is from negative 140 let's say negative 150 160 they are less than 140 okay in, in the sense that is how it looks like it's not a positive number so negative 150 is less than negative 140 okay so we will take less than sign here and fix it here so if the y position which is the negative part so i'm going to pick it there down here we're going to see y position okay so if y position we put it there okay so if the y position is less than the negative 140 which we set for the y okay so if it is less than that then it means so the pair is not supposed to allow the bomb to exceed that if it exceeds then we are going to broadcast a message and we call that message game over so we are calling that message game over now we're going to another condition again that's the first the second condition again says now if we want it to touch if it touches either the black or the brown color there uh, so let's say we go to sensing if touching now uh, since the colors are two i'll go to operators and take all and fix it here then we come to this and take if touching this color okay let me fix them outside then i'll bring everything back inside let me move it down here so that i can fix them uh, there are two colors so if touching color so the first color let's click on it and take the black color and then the second color let's click on it and take this color so let's make sure it is exactly the same color good now fix it inside so we have this if touch if so if touching this color it will give us game over and if also touches this color it is give us a game over oh yeah so it will rather perform a function so so if it touches this color we want it to play a sound that is it means it hit this one so we go to sound and play sound now the power uh, this is a parrot uh, let's see what sound should we give to it probably um let's go to animal and then see let me see rooster no okay a chum. okay no we have owl we have 
the CDC. Okay. So it looks like it hit it. Okay, let's see. No. This is okay, so I'll pick this squawk. So it means it hit it, and uh, so we use this. And then, now, the bomb will now switch uh, costume, okay? So we want it to just maintain the costume. So go to looks. Is it switch costume inside this? To the first costume is bomb. First costume is bomb. Okay. First costume is bomb. Now we're going to now switch the costume. So let me repeat it. Uh, I'm going to repeat it. There are eight explosions, so eight. Now I'll go to looks and say next costume. Next costume. We'll fix it here. So now. Uh, it is going to do that. Then I want it to go back. When it hit it and move out far from it, then it will now go back to the bomb color when it is dropping down. So go to uh, looks again. And then it says switch costume to bomb. Okay. So. <clears throat> Um, so let me see something here. Okay, so what I'll do is uh, I think I left something out. So I'm just going to change that here. Uh, let me separate this, remove this here, and go back to events. Here, when we start the game, this is what I wanted to do. When we start the game, when we just click, this is how we want the bomb to do. It should be moving from this and that. But the bounce code is that we want it to point in a certain direction. So we want it to go back. So uh, point in direction. <clears throat> um, let's go to this and take a minus operator two. Okay, so we are going to use the minus operator here. And uh, here it will be 180 minus the direction that it was. So let's go to motion. So whichever direction it was that uh, it hits the, what do you call it? Uh, the bed, we want to remove it out of 180. So it will be within this place. So wherever it hit it, we want to take that direction out of 180. Okay, then, tell it to move away from that position again. So as usual, we take move 10 steps. All right, so these, these, these are the two separate codes for only the bomb. So the first is when we start the game, it will be in this costume, switch to bomb. Then it will be in, within the middle, where X and Y are zero, and point in a direction where something like 135 degrees. And then all these things will loop. So the first thing is, is it will move from that position that it was. And if it gets to an edge here, not touching the bed, just an edge, it should go back, should bounce. Now, if the Y position is less than negative from four, that means if it goes beyond this position, it should broadcast a game over so that the game over will come out and end the game. Then another condition is that if it touches any of this color, this or that, okay, it should give this sound because it means it killed this bed here and then now repeat the explosion effects so since there are eight so say next costume and then when it is moving away from it it should change back to the bomb color that's why it switch to this now when it receives this bounce it means that it has touched this because we said in this code that when touching bomb broadcast bounce. So now the bomb is receiving that message. So when I receive bounce, then I will point in the direction. That direction is that I'm taking my position where I am currently and I hit the bed 
out of 180, then you to change another cash and move away from that position. So at this stage, let's test the two codes. So start with this. So the bed is paste and move that direction. Okay, so all right, that's it. So I've noticed something. I uh, will just work on that one. Let me show you why. If it hits the bed, this bed, it is making a sound because of the color around the bed is black. So what we are going to do is quite simple. We are going to just do something. It's either we edit the bed, okay, or we edit the parrot from that color black. Okay, so what I'll do is that it is easier to edit the parrot than the bed because the lines around the bed is black color. So to do that, it might be difficult. So I'll click on the parrot, and then go to costume, let me go show this. And then this black color, I'm going to change it. So go and pick this and select a different color. So I see, let me see. Let's pick this color. Okay, so I just use that color here instead of the black color. Okay, that black is too faint. I need something deep. This will do. Let's see. Yeah, I think this okay. So wherever the black is, we are going to use this color for that. Same color here and there. All right, so let's get back to the code again. So I'm going back and uh, what I'm going to do is to edit the code from the bomb. So let's select the bomb. So where the black color is, we are going to change it. So let's change and use this color. So let's try it again. So when it hits the bed, you see, it's only the bed that makes it sound. And when it hits this one, it will quack and then they start exploding. Start exploding and explode and explode. So the moment it touches it, it explodes. The reason why I keep doing that is because yeah, the bed, the parrot hasn't gone off, and that is where we will start. That's our next line of code to do. So let's click on the parrot now, and then do the code for the parrot as well. Okay. So at this stage, what we're going to do is that we are going to let the parrot, the moment the bomb hits the parrot, it will vanish. The parrot will vanish. Okay. In other words, it will die and then uh, the bomb will bounce back. So we started with when click. Now the size is a bit bigger, so I'm going to looks and then set the size. Okay, so let's say set size to um, let's reduce it to maybe 50 percent. Okay, and then give it a direction so the direction is that should be at the top so point in direction let's leave it as 90 degrees okay and it should show up okay show should be here okay then we let's loop it <clears throat> so forever as usual now and then we take an if statement here now if it touches, if the bed touches the bomb, so bomb, then it will <clears throat> broadcast, uh, what do you call it, bounce to, just like the, what do you call it, so let's go back here, so broadcast bounce, so that when the bomb also receives it, it will perform the same action move away to the same action move away from 
that position. So let's get back to the parrot. Now, it has two costumes. So let's, let's check the costumes. So we have parrot A and parrot B. Okay, so because we want to see the effect, okay? So go to looks and select, switch costume to parrot A, should be in um, rather B because it, the, the first one is the A, so it should switch to what? Parrot B. Now let's go to control and tick. And fix it here, make it 10. Now go to looks and then change color effects by 25. Let's add another one, change color effects. Now with this one, we want it to fade off. So we select ghost and make it uh, four. Okay, then ch and change the size. Change size by, we'll make it uh, negative four. Okay, all right, and then hide. So looks, we want it to hide. All right, fix it down here. Now, it means it has called. So let's put something to, so make a variable, call it score. Call it score. And click here. So change score by one. Change score. So as you can see, there's a score panel here that shows our score. So it will change the score by one. So in other words, if the bomb hit the bed, it means it killed it and you have to score for that, okay? So then this here means that it will start changing the color by 25, the color of this because it's fading off, okay? Uh, what I would like to add is that I want to add some effects so that when it is fading off, the color will change and the, color, the, the size will shrink and then it will turn. Okay, about 15 degrees. You can make it left or right. So this is the first code. Okay, so that's the code for the parrots. So as you can see there. Okay, so now let me go back and then give it a spin. Try it and see. So the bed will also be moving its wings. Yeah. Okay, so it goes and hit it, so it is going off. Right, so let's stop that. Okay. Okay, so moving it. All right. All right, so let me stop that and get back to the code. Right, so these are the code for the parrot. But I want to see something here, switch costume to parrot B with touching bomb. Now what I want to do is that, let me remove this. I'm just editing it, I'll take this off. Put this one there. Now I want it to be here. Switch to parrot B, it should, when we start, I don't want it to be on this before it can uh, start swinging the wing. So I want it to just change and be swinging the wing. Okay. All right, let's click on that. So it hits it here, bounces, and goes up and touches the bed. Stop that. Okay, so. What I want to do is, I still want to get some effects for the parrot so that when it is, uh, what do you call it? Let me stop that, get back to the code. So I still want to get some effects so that the bed will be, you know, switching. So go to control here and take repeat.
dexterity here. So I'm going to move this, fix it under this, and bring it back inside. So, and I'm going to go to next casting. So it should be here. Let's take it A, then let's just give this one two, so that we can it can be switchy. So this is the code there. Let me play that and see. So how is that? It should be on A. So as you can see, that also, it is also moving its way, like it's flying, as you can see there. Okay, so that is the effect I wanted to put down there. But when you hit it, it's moving off. Great one there. I like it. I like it. It works well. All right, so the next thing, we are going to do is we are going to add our two more sprites. We get to the end of the, the, the game. We're going to add two more sprites, okay, and then we we'll add a background. We we'll decide the background for that. So the two sprites is a one sprite is to indicate game over, and the other one is to indicate uh, what you call it. Um, if one, congratulations. So here, yeah, this is where we get sprite from our library. But this, I'm going to draw my own sprites. So I'll click on that, and that is going to be a text. If you look in the middle here, you're going to see an X, as you can see there, then you click there and start typing. So I'm going to type V over. Let me reduce this so you can see it, game over. As you can see there, All right? So that is a game over, okay? Now, what we can do is, you can, if you want to change the font, you can come down here and then they are here. Okay, marker. If this is okay, you can leave it. Down game. Uh, Gloria. Let's see. Uh, mystery. Yeah. Scratch. All right, so I think. Marker is okay for me. I'll leave it as that. And uh, what you can do just to make sure it is in the middle. So click here and drag it to make sure it is in the middle. If you want it to be bigger than that, just open up here and drag it to make sure it's in the middle. Okay, so that's okay. You can change the color, but I think this color is okay for me. Go back to script. Click. Now here, we can give it a name, it's right here. Call it Game Over. So that that's the name of that sprite, Game Over. Let's paint another one. And like I said, you can select the color before that. So maybe let's change a different color or use purple. I'll click here. Oh, sorry, I'll use this. Click there and type bravo if one okay so this is also okay and make sure it's in the middle here come open it up put it in the middle all right so that really looks Cool. I'm back to the script. And this one too, I'll call it uh, ring so that I can call it whenever I need it in my code. So I'll start with game over and then I'll code it. Now, game over, remember it was broadcast to game over that when it goes beyond that, it should say uh, what you call it, game over. But whenever we start the game, this is what I want us to look at. Whenever we start the game, we don't want to see the game over. So hide it. The same thing with the Bravo. Whenever we start, we don't want to hold that they will do this code. Then the next set of code is that when it receives 
when game over sprite receives when i receive game over then we can now see it should come out so show so when it comes out and um, we can even select this just in case go to front and then let it stop the game so go to control and tick uh, what we call stop all stop all here will end everything okay <clears throat> stop all now let's go to bravo the win also like i said when clicked okay uh it should also hide okay then here we're going to the data and set the score so when we just start the score should be zero okay now we want it to be hiding to when would it come out we want it to wait so wait until when our score is equal to we, i'm going to get uh make 10 or 12 or if you want 15 if you want to make 15 okay so let me say um okay i'll make it 14. so when score equal 14 then you can now come out show okay and then let me i need this code I need this code here. Copy, duplicate, and give, put it here. We'll come back to this. So show, and then stop everything. Also, now, also, I'll go to this code and say when clicked. Also, we want it to play a sound. Okay, so whenever the score is this one, it should also be there. As for the show, it's already shown you, so I'll get rid of that and play sound. So we'll go to sound and then say play sound until done. So let's go to sound. This will mean like uh, you've won. So I think uh, we need to place some sound to show that you've won. So I will need something like uh, let's take check this. Mm -hmm. <coughs> This one is also okay. So I'll take this. So we'll take play sound, dance, celebrate. So this these are the codes for you've won. Okay, these are the codes for you've won. And then these are also this is a, these are the codes for the game over. Before that, let's get to the bed and uh, let's see. Okay, so we need to add just one last code here. Do we need it to be making sound? Okay, I think we'll leave it. What we'll do is to make duplicate of it. So let me get back so that we we'll have 14. So bed. Or make duplicate so to make duplicate you can use this and we click on it to make a duplicate of it <clears throat> so you see there are two yeah okay you can also go here and then make duplicate so that we have 14 of them so whilst doing the count just make sure there are 14 because that's what we set it to be we want it the game to uh, play the win sound when it is 40. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So we we'll just keep duplicating it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's it. So Thirteen, fourteen. So that's fourteen. Now, what I'm going to do is to rearrange them so we have a good look at them. So, 
Let's fix them this way. Get twenty uh, forty. So let's make seven by seven. Looks like they are too crowded. That's because I made seven of them. But if you want to make more, what you have to do is to shrink their size so that it will fit. They squeeze the. And to shrink the size, you can use this one to shrink the size so that they look much smaller. So just to get them arranged and uh, we'll do the last design and things we call it end of it. <clears throat> okay, so that is how I'm arranging them. Now what I'm going to do is to give it a nice background. So click on this. So here we're dealing with backdrop. So we We'll move to this part. So I'm going to design my own backdrop. So I will go to click on the backdrop and go to backdrops. So this is it. Yeah. Okay. So what we are going to do is that I'm going to give it a color. So let's take fill. We use this one here. Then let's give it a green color like this. So the field is there, click on the background. Right now, switch. I want this part is uh, let me move something up here. Okay, so this part is deeper than this, so I'm going to switch it. So I will just do this flip up down. So now this one goes up. But then what I'll do is I'm going to cut off the top part. And fill another color there. So here we will reduce the size of the screen. So I'll take this and select the top part here. Then press the delete key on your keyboard to take rid, rid of it. Then take the color. We use this this time to change a different color like uh, this. I think this is okay. All right. So. That is our backdrop. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the large screen so that we can see everything there and then play the game. So uh, before that, let me go back and do something. If you observe our bomb is a bit bigger, so I'll shrink it. of the bed this is okay now let's get back and make the screen bigger now I'm going to start the game so you can see the bears are flying there if you hit it then it goes back bounces here and then it will hit the bears okay speak and I'll make sure, so it's coming back, so I have to move and hit it to go back again. So it goes. So I keep moving the mouse pointer. So if it goes down, it's going to be game over. So let's see that it goes down and then it's game over. So that is game over. Now let's try to see if we can win. So let's do that as well. So start it again. Hit it. Okay.
still let's do the eight again. Let's hit another one again. So I will score this two, as you can see. I'll score this two. Hit another one. The score will be three. I will hit even two. So let's see. That's four score that we have now. Another one is eight. Okay, going over. Let's take the mouse that I'm using is giving me a little problem. So what I'll do, I'll stop this and go back. So we just try it. So I want it to move. Let me check the bed. I want the steps to be 20. So it can move faster. All right, so let's try that again. Hit it. All right, so that is how the game looks like. Um, you can do this, have fun with it. A good one. So our score is one. Now we have hit three, so the score will be three now. Still hitting them. Wow, it's still hitting. So we got like five. Okay. Okay. It looks cool. So that is it for the tutorial. Uh, if you like to support this video, you can sub subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this video to the kids so that they can have fun learning. And then you can leave comments and uh, like it hit the bell so you can get notification from uh, this channel anytime there is a new video of this type you will get uh, an alert so that you can have fun with that one as well so this is it i'm just having fun with the game so take care and uh, be safe Finally.
last one is taking down and bravo before all right thanks for watching like i said if you want to support this video leave comments subscribe to my youtube channel like the video and you can share the video to anyone who likes something like this okay bye for now hit the like button hit the bell for notification bye